are now joined by UFC flyweight Matthew Nicolau and we'll take a first set of questions from Gabriel Gonzalez and Kate Cypress. Hello, how are you? Good, good. Uh, so first off, welcome back to the UFC. What was it like to get the call? Because obviously you were waiting for a fight in Brave, I believe, and then now you're back in the promotion. Yeah, it was it was a nice call, you know, got me by surprise, but it was a surprise. I got really honored and really, really happy in being back in UFC. Now I've been able to do my job here again, walk all the mountains. Uh, I'm curious because when you were let go, it was because they were saying, oh, they're going to close the flyweight division. Now, obviously, things have changed. Do you give one fighter any credit? Do you believe, oh, Henry Cejudo saved the flyweight division? Do you believe it was all the guys who were still here? Who do you give credit for keeping 125 in UFC? Yeah, we, we, we can deny that what any he did was something that really makes the flyweight alive, you know. Uh, his victory against Dillashaw and then the other victories in the, the Bantamweight division, I think, was a good message that we have a really, really good fighters in the flyweight division. And of course, all the other flyweight fighters, you know, especially right now, UFC have been contracting a lot of good fighters. And you can watch a lot of great fightings happen here in the flyweight division. But for sure, I think the Henry Cejudo needs all the credit for flyweight division. Uh, my next question, just for yourself, for people who have not been watching you since you left, how have you changed and grown as a fighter, in your opinion? I think uh, everything that happened, you know, uh, I'm living in the UFC and all the, the fights that I have I, I've done outside of the UFC and all the effort, all the training that I put day by day until being back here uh, make me a better fighter, you know, and I want to show that on Saturday night. My final question, what are your thoughts on Manel as an opponent? He's a great opponent, you know, really dangerous. He's he got nice uh, finishes good submissions and outs, but he is the type of challenge that I want in life. You know, I think he is the type of challenge that will put me on the top of division. That's my goal, and that's what I want. That's what I'm going to top of division. And that walk starts again. Okay, right now. Hey, thank you, Mateus, and good luck. We'll take our next set of questions from Gavin Porter with UFC.com. So, since we saw you last from UFC, you know, what have you learned most about yourself mentally? I think I, I've grown, you know, that's a natural thing in life as you living and growing. Everything that happened, you know, being kicked out of the UFC that way, to and now I think I'm even more aware to all the challenges that I will have ahead of me. So for fans that maybe don't remember you, or fans that are new fans that haven't seen you last fight you were, so wh what do you think you bring to the Octagon that is going to excite fans, and why is this going to be a hard fight for one? Uh, I think I always put uh, great fights to watch, you know, always exciting fights. I uh, train a lot, man, I give my best every day, and I think I am a well-rounded fighter, you know, I know how to fight on the ground, I know how to fight pretty well standing up. All my UFC fights, I always have uh, great feedback from the media, from the fans, and this time will not be different. 100% prepared to put on a show and get that victory. Last one for me. You have an opponent, like you said, you like this type of challenge, and does that make you more excited for a fight? Because I know well, he wasn't the initial opponent. Yeah, for sure. I think Tagir is a big name as well. You know, I was really excited with him. And I try to focus on the fight and always being excited. And, but for sure, Mane is a great martial artist. You know, he's dangerous. And I think that we're both going to put on a show for everybody on Saturday.